Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an amazing video in line for you guys. We're going to be having a get ready with me together with a get to know me tag with an amazing lady. She's a mother, a wife, she's a songstress, she's an actress, she's a YouTuber and an amazing personality. We all know her, we all love her. Drum rolls please. Yes, we're going to be having Wendy Kimani on my channel today and I'm super excited. If you want to watch this video, stay tuned for more of this. first time you got to to be on stage or with your music career was it like the onset of it no uh, no actually mm -hmm. i was on stage for a few like talent shows here and there okay. like there was the one mm -hmm. talent such mm -hmm. uh, okay. and i remember right? i have so many artists were there mm -hmm. yeah, okay, like mm -hmm. uh, yeah oh, maybe yeah. 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 Oh, did that is there uh -huh. something that was like the judge. Uh-huh. Uh, so we did that was really fun. Mm -hmm. And then I did one for um singing in French. Oh. So at Allianz Concert. Okay. The second stage. Uh -huh. Like sort of out there stage. Yeah. You know? I won that one and went to Paris. When was this? Kids. What year was this? No. I was 19. I don't have That's like, I think, 2005. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's what I was doing. 13 years ago. Don't say that. Oh, sorry. You don't want people to know your age. No, I don't mind my sister. I don't want to realize how old I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually don't mind my age. Yeah, we need yeah. more of these ladies who are proud of who they are. Uh, their age, like, like, I mean, it's just a number. You know, age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, so yeah, and then I was second one, and then, then, then I auditioned mm -hmm. for Idol. I don't know if there's a lot of people who know this. No, I didn't, I didn't even know. Last well, year, fun right here. <laughs> I auditioned uh -huh. for Idol. I know that that's a project of fame in 2008. Okay. I have it together. Mm. And then I for Idols, and then, you know, I didn't pass that stage. Those guys mm -hmm. laugh at on TV. Those guys passed me. No. It, and you can't be serious. Kids do not. You can't be serious. Okay. Uh -huh. Ask me. Like, uh -huh. I was like, ah. Oh, because my friends were outside of it. Because you never told me that. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, she's like, what are you no. crazy? Uh huh. He okay, went to Pasada and cried. Oh. <laughs> Imagine. Oh yeah. And I'm sure you were probably one day laughing at those people. Like, well, you know, we all like have. <laughs> we all have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that day I was like, hmm, I'm being punished. Oh, yeah. It's my time. Mm. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, no, check it out. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. And TPF was officially the same week. Ah, okay. So they're like, you know what? You have to. Yeah. You have to. Like, okay, you no. Know. I'm not doing this again. After that, yeah, I can they imagine. They came home, got me, and remember we had to Aww. go audition fill in the form mm -hmm. and get like three bottle tops. Uh -huh. like, okay, bottle tops. Uh -huh. We had to go to like a nearby bar. Are you still there? Oh yeah, yeah the we went. We went to audition and from then on just, yeah, that's how TBF happened. Are you serious? And I think that's after uh -huh. getting to where I got, I was like, okay, uh -huh. then I mean, they have something like in you, yeah. yeah. I can actually see, mm -hmm. you know, 
That's how it started. Okay. Yeah. So what 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 is the best memory you had to be at? Um oh when we did like mm -hmm. an East African tour. Ah, okay. We did an East African tour of private jets, just us. Are you still there? We didn't so even know fun. about that. We woke up <laughs> at five, I don't know, four AM. Uh -huh. We went to was it Tanzania first mm -hmm. or Uganda? And then and then meet and greet, you know, see. Yeah, you were just uh, like, no, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 so <laughs> And you know when you live in the house, you don't know how big you are. You are you're becoming. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we went. So you see these people, it's just like, what happened? <laughs> I walked in as a no one, and, and now, now, you know, now, like, this guy's know my name. Yeah. Like, how? Yeah. Yeah, then we did it with Uganda. It was mm -hmm. a really, like, one crazy day. Mm -hmm. That was the best experience. Oh, amazing, yeah. amazing. So after that, I remember, like, you went off the. With the camera or social media, like people didn't see much of you after that. Yeah. So what was going on at, at that time? Um, after that, I mm -hmm. got signed. Okay. And then, so now you work mm -hmm. on your music. Yeah. But yeah, mm -hmm. that didn't really work out. Very okay. Well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was a bit of a stressful time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess that's why it was like. Did you go on social media like, yeah, what's the next song? I know, pressure. So it's just like, I don't want those questions. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, yeah, and so as soon as I was out of that contract, uh -huh. then I was like, okay, now I can do my own stuff. And yeah. So I slowly started coming down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what happened. Okay. Yeah. So you were saying uh, now after that, like the way you took a break, then you mm -hmm. were working on music behind the scenes. Yeah. So I remember you just came with a bang, like you were doing collabs with musicians, Felty Soul and the likes, mm -hmm. and it was amazing songs. So I'd like to know, like most artists are like in Kenya, music is just pathetic. People don't get paid well. People are mistreated. People use your music even without, you know. Yeah. yeah. So how was it for you? I mean, I'm not gonna say that all those things. Are not real because mm -hmm. they are real yeah. to a lot of people. people yeah. uh, some people are fortunate not to go through those things. So mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Mm -hmm. So you know the whole uh, not getting paid royalties is exactly. very that's happening it's to challenge. to most mm -hmm. of the musicians and that's really horrible mm -hmm. because you invest a lot in music, in music a yeah. lot. Yeah. Those videos you see, these fancy videos people are doing. It's not hey. a joke. <laughs> we are selling kidneys out here. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so that's mm -hmm. why people start and then get to a point and they're just like, you know what, I'm done. Yeah. So many people yeah. do that because you're not get, getting what you're investing. Value for, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. for, yeah, for so, your time and stuff. Exactly. Mm. So it is hard. Mm. And for me as well, it was. It was. I've quit a lot of times. Yeah. I have. So when I go blackout, it's like I'm done. <laughs> and the passion calls me back. <laughs> and then you go back, let's do it one like, more just time. One. Yeah. Just, just one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but mm -hmm. now I realize, okay, I'm never going to quit. Because so. mm -hmm. you were born to do that. Yeah. So just Everyone roll with can it. Tell. It's like, just do it. Yeah. Stop lying to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then we saw like you moved from Kenya mm. and you went to Holland yes. so I'm sure many people are like just ask her those questions like how was the move for you yeah. then you got married and now you're a family woman like how was that for you like yeah yeah um, the move was that was a difficult one because mm. he wanted to come to Kenya mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. of he fell in love with the country mm -hmm. and I'm like this country where where <laughs> it's a struggle in <laughs> I'm here. Like, it's different when it's vacation you know? yeah yeah so we together we were like you know what what's mm. best right now yeah like what's best is to go to holland yeah we had even already started the process of me relocating so okay so i moved mm -hmm. and uh, that wasn't easy because i moved just when unajua was recorded i recorded it and left yeah and then it blew up I remember she lied. And I was just like, what? <laughs> what is this? Like, why now? Why? <laughs> I had just done movies. Mm -hmm. And then they're all showing all over the place. I'm like, okay, this is just that thing. This is what I needed. Yeah. You know? yeah. But anyway, it's, mm -hmm. there's always time for, for every, you need time for different things in yeah. your life. You know, mm -hmm. it was time for family. Yeah. And so I left and we started family. And oh. yeah, I really don't regret it because, yeah, it's, the Having a long distance relationship ever. is not easy. Yeah, you know? true, true. Exactly. So that was it was really I don't regret it one bit. Going to Holland. Yeah. yeah. 
and also traveling being somewhere else also your mind Seeing is open mm-hmm. in a way that that being here even just, just seeing it online yeah. will not help, help. Much, yeah. exactly you need to be inside that society to experience that exactly mm-hmm. yeah and that's yeah that's that that was that's amazing for mm-hmm. me i love that and when i come back to kenya i come back with a whole different mindset yeah on what to do you know yeah so that's been amazing now i have a baby yeah the cutest like if you've not seen her baby i don't know what you're doing with your life i'm telling you like he was about to like pull on her brain and like, break her so cute I was like, oh my god she's not ready I'm like don't <laughs> she's he's so cute how is it being a mom it's challenging mm. it's very very challenging, challenging. <laughs> especially a first-time mom yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's very really challenging mm-hmm. but it's also really sweet it's like you can't imagine like how did we just we just leave the two of us like, uh-huh. without him <laughs> it's, it's, yeah it's one of those things you can't explain until you become a parent yeah yeah you like no one will ever understand until, until you, you get there yeah, 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 until yeah you get there yeah yeah so yeah, it's really nice we love it mm-hmm. he's a sweet boy Oh yeah. So cute. <laughs> so life in Holland, like did your music career end there? Or are you doing anything about music there? Acting. Speaking of which you've not even spoken about acting. Tell us. Yeah. Acting. Um, acting happened well a friend of mine was starting she uh Lu- she's Lucy your daughter. She did Rush, you mm-hmm. know, Rush the T V show. I think it's I've heard series. of it. Okay. Uh-huh. And um yeah, she was like she cast me in it. Mm-hmm. And that's what started my whole acting career. Career, if okay. I may call it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. It's so much fun. Yeah. Uh, after I, di- I did Rush, mm-hmm. I also did a couple of movies with um, uh, Maisha Magic. Nice. No, is it Maisha Africa Magic? Yeah. Yeah. Africa Magic or Maisha Magic? Af- I think it was Africa Magic nice. uh, films, original uh-huh. films. Uh-huh. And it's still showing now. I still haven't watched them. Are you serious? <laughs> <That's true>. Why? <laughs> Like I uh-huh. did these things and just left. I just left, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them. But yeah, that's what happened. I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I, I honestly would love to continue doing it. Mm-hmm. But for now, mm-hmm. yeah, singing. I told, I told you, yep. I, I can't stop. So like it's you were born to do that. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't stop. So even in Holland, mm-hmm. I'm discovering it slowly. Yeah. So I've been doing gigs here and there, mm-hmm. you know, hosting and all that stuff. So it's also going great. Mm-hmm. Pole pole. Yeah. But right now I'm very busy with the baby. Yeah. Cause yeah. He needs it right now. Yeah. When he starts daycare. Then, then maybe you can <laughs> do everything. You can do your thing. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like for for the how is the music career there for not just you, yeah. for other musicians in Holland. Like does it play well is there a big difference between Kenya and Holland, you see that's to okay. your career. Um, I'm not really deep into it yeah. yet, mm-hmm. but music everywhere is difficult. Mm-hmm. It's just that in different yeah. places, I guess when you kind of start making it, then mm-hmm. you'll, be, you'll be paid royalties. Mm-hmm. You'll be, yeah, you'll be better taken care of. After like you've now gotten to it. Exactly. And, when uh, you actually, you when you enter. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Entering <laughs> is a challenge. Yeah, entering <laughs> is a challenge, you yeah. know. Uh, yeah, make a little bit of a name, have mm-hmm. a little bit of following, then yeah. you're good, yeah. you know. Yeah, so, but now there, there's way more competition. Really? Way more competition. And they already have their sound, their uh, own things, you know. It's like, yeah. it's like someone with death metal coming to Kenya to try uh, and break in, you know. Kenyans, the mass, uh-huh. don't really relate to that. So, yeah. I guess to hit it there, you have to relate to do what's, yeah. what's done there. Yeah. When you go to Rome. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And in Holland, what's your greatest experience there? Like, how mm-hmm. is life there compared to Kenya? You've lived in Kenya for most of your life. So, when you compare Kenya and Holland and the move, plus, you've not even told us about the move. Was it hard, like, leaving mm-hmm. your family behind? You know, I visited a lot. I uh-huh. visited a lot. Okay. So, it was not hard. Uh-huh. And I'm also going to see my booze. So. <laughs> you know, you're going to see somebody, yeah, someone you really want cake, to be yeah. with. So, yeah, yeah you, it, it was easy, mm-hmm. you know. Um, yeah, then you start missing your friends exactly. and family. Yeah. And then it gets, woo, okay. And then winter shows up. <laughs> and, then, and then you're like, what the? 
what is this? Fridge is this. <laughs> so cool. mm -hmm. And that's when you're just like, okay, I don't know, I can't, I, I can't, can't do this. And then I keep asking him, so when mm -hmm. is spring coming? I think it's January, like, uh, we are deep into winter right now. Feb. Is spring yet? Yeah. No. No. March. Yet? No. no. April. Like now it's spring, it's starting to be spring. It's still very cold. <laughs> uh -huh. Then the sun comes out from October, mm -hmm. you will see like and feel the sun uh, somewhere in May. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. What? So and you're used there. to Kenya whereby the sun hey. is literally almost yeah. all year round, yeah. So that's I'm telling you, as in even now mm -hmm. I have, I can't You've not gotten used to that I yet. I cannot get used to it. <laughs> that one is difficult. Mm -hmm. Even he mm -hmm. hubby is now we are being more Kenyan than yeah. <laughs> he's more cold than I am. Are you serious? Yeah. What? Anyway, sun is mm. important. Don't take it for granted. Don't. <laughs> You've had. <laughs> don't. Yeah, don't. Don't. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. mm. So you've been in Kenya for how long now? For three weeks. Yeah. I think three weeks. Was it just That's for enough. vacation, or there's I something came here you're to planning? Oh, I really? came here to record Most new music. Amazing, amazing, new amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Basically, that was most of it, and of course, mostly to show also Taji, uh, my son, <laughs> <laughs> to show his family, mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. I want him to meet everybody. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's really, really important. I even want to start speaking Swahili to him because. Wow. If he can't speak, I want him to at least understand. Yeah, what yeah. it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He has to know where it came from. Mm. Mm. Roots. Mm. Roots are very important. <laughs> so we should be looking out for amazing music, yeah? Yes. Yes. You've yes. Heard that? Yeah. yes. 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 For sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yes, for those who don't know, Wendy started a YouTube channel. When I was did. It? Yeah, you can tell people about your channel, your <laughs> plans, what you want to be speaking about. I'm literally learning from Sharon right now. Like, <laughs> You know, I'm like, teach me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started a YouTube channel. It's mm -hmm. called Wendy's New Normal. Check it out. Subscribe. subscribe. What do you say? Subscribe. Teach me how to subscribe yeah. button. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button right here. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Give it, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below. Yeah, yeah. So tell them what you plan to be speaking about. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you about life abroad, you know? Yeah. Whatever you're curious about, the funny things, the crazy yeah. things culture shock you know yes and other things that you know i my life yeah things that i feel like i have sort of kind of conquered yeah and people would want to you know that i can just give tips to people and help them yeah you know i'm not gonna go into it but things like pcos mm -hmm. you know or things like motherhood mm -hmm. or even moving abroad yeah. or just just anything you know mm -hmm. Yeah. So please check it out. Check it out. Wendy's new novel. Subscribe. <laughs> give it a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. And then there's something about you. You're very. She's a very lovely. So like, even the way I just approached you, like, I've always been looking up to you. I'm just like, ah, Wendy, I can't wait to meet her. Stop. These are the things I can't deal with. When people say yeah, these things, I'm like, stop, stop, stop. stop, stop. <laughs> like, what keeps you grounded as a um, person? literally the people around me mm -hmm. my friends mm -hmm. i my friends my family those are the people who they don't see me any different yeah. i've always been me yeah. i've always been the same because mm -hmm. they kept me that way wow you know yeah so you know sometimes you might have some friends who you get someone and they start treating you a little uh, bit different. some type of way yeah These guys yeah. forget because <laughs> you know some people someone will recognize me like hey yeah yeah, people know you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that because it just allows me to be me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, part of why I love being in Holland because mm -hmm. nobody knows, knows me. you. Nobody yeah, knows me. Yeah, that's so true. I'm just like in my onesie pajamas <laughs> going to the supermarket. I'm like, no pressure. Yeah, <laughs> like bad hair days. Yes. Like yeah, mm -hmm. whatever. And your hair, I'm sure guys would kill me if I didn't ask this. <laughs> I'm sure. So your hair, I remember the first time you unleashed the main. Okay. Personally, I was just like, what? You know, like, it's funny because what? it's just been growing slowly, and Damn but all of a sudden, people are just like, wait, what? Yeah, like Your hair. what? It's like it's been there. Ah. Well, I just went. I went natural when I went to Holland. Mm. You know, um, first of all, looking for a place that does 
black women's hair is so difficult mm. where I live. Mm -hmm. But in The Hague or Amsterdam, that's mm -hmm. where you can find these places, but they're really expensive. expensive. Don't take Kenyatta market for granted. And it doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. actually do your hair very well, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. But then we are spoiled in mm -hmm. Kenya, please. <laughs> yes. Because you go to Holland, someone will do your weave, and your brain is literally being sucked out You're of your serious. head. <laughs> Are you serious? Tight, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like here, yeah, you'll find people who will do it any you so can. So well, like, yeah. Sleep, mm, you know, you're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there. No. It's a struggle. Yeah, as in, can you imagine starting to look for? How long have we I, been looking for those people who do your braids nicely, yeah. your hair nice? Yeah. And I was like, I'm not ready for that. Uh -huh. What to YouTube? <laughs> I watch videos like mm. everybody does. I said I can do it since mm -hmm. guys are doing it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. so I started like that. I started transitioning. Mm -hmm. You didn't do and the then, big job, no? No, okay. no, because my head is so small. <laughs> and sometimes they say I have a half head. <laughs> small compared to my body. Uh -huh. So I was like, I can't do this. So I started with a transition. Mm -hmm. But what messed my hair up is I put, do, did some, I don't know, coconut oil, concussion. Uh, I don't know to make your hair so. Okay. It matted like crazy are you serious it was like, oil. yeah it was like 11 pm at night i was just like i have to cut it i, I have to cut it because now i can't do anything yeah, with it yeah so i cut it uh -huh. and that's how it started i started with like yeah this small hey, and you should just check out her instagram page you'll see how long her hair is it's amazing it's fascinating to be honest so for all of you <laughs> who are trying to get the courage because it takes courage honestly do, yeah guys, you know the only courage is mm -hmm. seeing yourself in that hair mm -hmm. and accepting it that's mm -hmm. the only thing yeah because we, we didn't grow up with that hair yeah the more you stay with it don't mm -hmm. do a lot of braids all the time because mm -hmm. that's also not good just stay with it and get used to your mm -hmm. face with this look mm -hmm. love, love love the look yeah, love the look yeah and everything just bingo there you have it in case you've been trying to transition and you're just like my head my hair like you know we always make excuses like trust me you yeah, will I find think, I think those hairs are not like our hair uh, yeah yeah <laughs> you know this, i've I had that, that a lot yeah, so i'm like yeah. hey even maybe to have because right now it's very dry <laughs> moisturize mm. leave it alone that's mm. the secret yeah that's it okay mm. that's amazing so there you have it guys it's been amazing having this beautiful lady with me and getting and makeup done yes so i'm going to finish it. her look off camera but i'll make sure i show you guys a picture i show you guys how she stand out after this whole amazing shot so guys thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much for the support this far you guys are the bomb and don't forget to subscribe subscribe hit the thumbs up button and support this amazing lady check out her channel don't forget to do wendy's that. new normal yes so till next time goodbye Bye.